The Mason-Dixon line was surveyed between 1763 and 1767, solving a border dispute by serving as the demarcation line between Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. And for years, the University of Pittsburgh and West Virginia would battle not only on the court, but in the living rooms of local high schoolers, working to commit recruits to their side of the Mason-Dixon line. They were recruiting in each other's backyards, so in the 1970s, the backyard brawl became the moniker of the basketball showdown between the Mountaineers and the Panthers. Though no longer in the same conference, this historic showdown is one of the best in college hoops. We'll break down the top moments in this hoops rivalry on this edition of Stadium Rivals. This showdown has been played 186 times, with the first matchup coming in 1906. Pittsburgh, then the Western University of Pennsylvania, or WUP, pulled off the 30-25 victory. The 1917-18 season would feature the first of what would become an annual showdown. Pitt won both games in January 1918, and the schools would meet at least once per season until 2012, a span of 94 years. Averaging 12.6 points per game for the Pittsburgh Panthers in the 1929-30 season, Charlie Hyatt became National Player of the Year. Eventually part of the Basketball Hall of Fame's inaugural class in 1959, Hyatt led Pitt to a two-game split in 1929 against West Virginia, losing 40-35 in January, but winning 41-19 in March. The 60s would not be kind to the Panthers as WVU went 17-3 in the decade. But just as the 60s were starting, Pitt got a look at Jerry West. West averaged 24.8 points per game in his college career, his best season coming in his last, 1959-60, where he averaged 29.3 points and 16.5 rebounds per game. West of the Mountaineers pummeled Pitt twice in 1960, the second as the fifth-ranked team in the land, 89-75. Pit games weren't even featured on commercial radio in the 60s, but a pair of incidents in the 1970 game are worth a highlight. In the first, a Panther student lobbed a dead fish on the floor, requiring admonishment from Pitt's head coach over the PA system. West Virginia won that one. The following game, WVU was planning to celebrate the closing of their old field house with a win over their rivals, but Pitt rallied from 19 points down to win the game 92-87. Billy Knight was a consensus second-team All-American in 1974 as a member of the Pitt Panthers. The team would reach the Elite Eight and set a school record with 22 wins in a row. Ranked number 11 on March 2, 1974, Pitt topped West Virginia 83-78. From 1975 to 1977, the Mountaineers were led by a transfer point guard by the name of Bob Huggins. By his senior year in 1976-77, Huggy Bear averaged 13.2 points, the highest of his three-year run at West Virginia. He would help the Mountaineers sweep Pitt that season. Huggins obviously would join the coaching ranks, taking over at his alma mater in 2007, a position he still holds heading into the 2019-2020 season. Let's jump ahead to the modern era, where the schools would meet as ranked opponents for the first time in 2005-06. Number 14 Pittsburgh hosted number 9 West Virginia in this one. Although they were led by senior Kevin Pitsnoggle, he would score zero points. Aaron Gray scored 16 as Pitt clamped down for a 57-53 win. The Panthers were feeling themselves in 2008-09, sweeping the regular season matchups against the Mountaineers. They came into the Big East tournament ranked number two, but were surprisingly upset by West Virginia in the quarterfinals of the tournament at Madison Square Garden, 74-60. In a February 2010 matchup, WVU fans threw objects at the Pitt team several times during game action. During the second half, Huggins harkened back to 1970, grabbing the microphone to address the fans and demanding them to stop the shenanigans. Number six West Virginia topped number 22 Pitt, 70-51. However, Pitt would get revenge nine days later, winning a triple OT thriller 98-95. On February 16, 2012, Pittsburgh and West Virginia played as members of the Big East Conference for the last time, with West Virginia winning at the Peterson Event Center for only the second time, 66-48. WVU moved to the Big 12 in 2012, and Pitt joined the ACC in 2013. While the annual rivalry ended there, a four-game set from 2017 to 2020 would be featured on each school's non-conference slate. 
So the overall record sits at 98 wins for West Virginia and 88 wins for Pittsburgh. We'll see if this rivalry continues after the contract expires in 2020, but the 70 mile distance between the schools means fans of each have the opportunity to have their voices heard in this rivalry, one made for the basketball edition of Stadium Rivals.